Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my second video for the day, um, but you will probably see this video first before you see this makeup look. Um, if you're interested in this look that I am wearing, uh, I will have the video uh, coming up next. Um, so anyways, today's video is a first for me. I'm finally going to do some favorites. And if you hear my dog, he's a little anxious right now because um, all the kids are in the front. I live in a cul-de-sac and all the kids are in the front and they're playing and he gets a little anxious when he hears the kids and the balls and all of that. So I'm sorry if you hear him um, throughout the video. Okay, so I'm going to start by category. Starting off with my base products, prepping my skin. You guys have seen this in a couple of videos and they're still my go-to. Uh, first will be my Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and this is from Good Molecules. I really like how this leaves my face. I use it day and night. Um, it really just absorbs into my skin. I feel my skin very hydrated, um, and I, I have no complaints. I haven't break breaking out from this. I've been using it. I am almost done. There you go. So I'm halfway through the bottle, but I have a few hyaluronic acids that I actually have been using, but this by far has been my favorite. As far as um, SPF, I have been using this little sample here, but I do have a full size of this as well, but I just want to use this up. Um, this is from La Roche Posay Anthelio 60 Ultra Light Sunscreen Fluid. So, yeah, don't forget your sunscreen, guys. It is very important. I know it's there's flashback if you take pictures, um, but protect your skin. So I got this one. Once I'm done with this little sample, I will use my big one here. Um, the next item that I love to use that I am almost done with and I got to go and buy a full size is this Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. I am very, very close to finishing this up. I love how light this is. So it is very lightweight it is clear it is thin i have combination skin so like on the outside perimeter of my face i am very dry i can even get very dry right here but like in my inner nose area here my chin and then my forehead of course my t-zone i can get very oily too depending on the type of foundation that i'm using or even if i didn't prep my face correctly um for example like a primer so um i really try to stick with two Two types of moisturizers your very thick moisturizers from my evening time and then a nice lightweight a moisturizer through the day so this is a good one I want to pot I want to buy the um, full size but because of boxycharm I have so much um, extra product extra skincare that I want to use what I'm getting so I may not quite yet buy this but I will eventually um, and then to go with that, I use the uh, Saturday Skin Eye Cream as well. Very lightweight, same consistency as the moisturizer. I love how hydrating this leaves my under eyes. I have pretty dry under eyes. I can see the age. I am um, getting old. So I can see that um, I need to hydrate more my under eyes. You have the thinnest skin around your eyes, so it's very important that you take care of them. Don't tug too much, even though I do forget sometimes and I can really go in when I'm trying to remove makeup so I got to be mindful of that I am getting older so new items that I have added into my routine would be this Elemis superfood glow pro priming moisturizer so this came in a boxy charm and I really like how um, glowy it could leave my skin so that's what that looks like and let me rub it in for you guys I don't know, can you guys see that glow? And then that's eczema right there, so I apologize for that. But it just leaves my skin so glowy, and I like to put this on. But it kind of gives you the same illusion like the Auric um, or the Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. So this is one that I have been adding to my routine. I don't, oh, I don't try to over rub it because it can become actually peely. As soon as you put it on your face, uh, rub it pretty good, but not overly 
too much because if not, it's gonna start peeling on you. So that is a con for this. So that's that. And then the other thing that I have just re-fallen in love with that I've had in my collection is this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So this is um, has vitamin E. I love the feeling of it. It smells so good. It's, oh, I love the feeling. It's nice and thick. I apply a thin layer on my cheek area, my chin. Um, so I use this as a primer sometimes. If I don't want to go in with like a specific primer, this is what I am using. Um, I really have fallen back in love with this. This is a very pricey item. I think it's like $60. So it, it can be pricey, but it's worth it. I personally like it. So that is it as far as my um, prepping the skin goes. As far as foundations, um, what I have been really into for this month, or March, has been CC creams and skin tints. I've really just, like, I've really fallen in love with some lighter coverage um, products. I don't want to feel so heavy right now, and who knows if I'm going to continue this trend. So... To start, I'm going to, I, you guys have seen me pull this up a lot of times in several videos. It is my Pharmacy Makeup um, BB Beauty Balm. This is a light to medium, and this actually has pretty good coverage. This is um, probably my heaviest coverage CC slash BB cream that I have. I have a BB cream, and I have a CC cream in this brand. Um, right now I'm using the light to medium, but in the, once the summer comes around a little bit more and I get myself a little bit more in the sun, I may end up switching to medium three, which is a little bit darker. And this is just a CC cream. Okay. So that was my number one. Then the second thing, and you guys can see that I've actually used up a lot of it is the milk makeup sunshine skin tint SPF. 30. So I got this in a BoxyCharm pop-up. Um, I think normal price is like $40 at Sephora and I don't remember how much I paid. Maybe $18 if I recall. But um, yeah, I took this with me when I was in Texas when I went to go visit my father about three, four weeks ago. And I use this every day. It gives me a very nice, very light um, coverage and um, glow. I mean, you could see my freckles. You could see my imperfections still, but it gave me just a really, really nice glow to my skin. So I really enjoyed this. Uh, I was shocked. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but if you are interested in something, give this a go. I got this in the color sand. And that is really it as far as what I have been using on my face for the month of March. Because cream has been all the rave, I have really been enjoying a couple of cream items. So to start, I really have enjoyed this Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm. I got this in the color Medium Dark. That is what that looks like. As you can see, I've been loving it. I love the fact that it brings this stopper on top to try to keep it nice and sealed from air. It's beautiful. I think it's only $15 to $20, so a lot less cheaper than the um, Chanel, which I do own. Give this a try. I think you would really enjoy it. It's very pigmented, so go a little bit um, light-handed because I started the first time I used this, it was very heavy-handed. So, yeah. Really, really enjoyed this. For blush, guys, I have really been enjoying these e.l.f. putty blushes. Um, I have three of them, and I can't really read the names on here, guys. I, that's the one thing about e.l.f. I can't, they put clear tape on here, so I don't know what colors I have. This is one of the colors, and this has been my most used. Then I got this one, which I believe is Bali. This one I've used, like, maybe once or twice. And the color looks intimidating in um, in the pot, but it's actually not too bad. Just be a little bit light-handed. And then I have this one, which is probably my second most used. Yeah, so these are very nice and cheap, not expensive. If you are in the cream bandwagon, try those. I know a lot of YouTubers have really been enjoying them. Um, for the Sephora VIB sale haul, I have a lot of cream blushes on that cart. Um, Tower 28 is a 
brand that I really want to give a try. Melt Cosmetics is another, and then some Patrick Ta is are on my cart. So this is going to be a pretty heavy VIB sale haul that I will be featuring soon. And then for highlight, this isn't really a high. Well, I guess it depends on how you use it, but this goes kind of with um, my um, LMS Superfood. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter um, Youth Glow. I really like this stuff. It really gives you a nice and beautiful glow. I got mine in the color 3. So that is that. And let me give you a nice swatch here. So I either, if I'm not using my Elemis, I will use this all over my face. You can't really see it. If I'm using cream, I will um, just put um, some of this on the, the highest point of my cheeks. Okay, to set my face, guys, I have been using my Juno & Co. Sorry, you can see my setup here. This is very dirty. I have been using my Juno & Co. Uh, blurring Makeup Setting Powder. I really like this stuff. It really leaves you blurred. Give it a shot, guys. Um, the only thing that I do not like is this lid. I hate this. Um, I really don't like this that this stopper is up here. So what I do is I take my Cody Airspun, which I am completely almost out. Like, that's all I have left. I take my... Sorry. I take the top of my Cody Airspun and then I will just pour some in here or shake some onto the top and then just place it on my face. So though that is my setting powder. Okay, so now I have been loving this. The Aesthetica Bronzer in Sunset. Guys, this is so pretty. The color is perfect. I really have been liking this. Like, I think I got this in a boxy charm as well. I don't think I had ever heard of this brand, but this is a really nice bronzer. So give this a go. Sunset bronzer. It blends beautifully. It blends right on top of your cream bronzer. If you want to set that, it's wonderful. Okay, as far as setting my blush, I don't have a favorite that I can say that I use. I literally use an a different blush every day besides those cream blushes. So I'm not going to feature a blush right now. Um, my eyebrows, guys, I have gone back to my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I use it in the color Dark Brown. Today, as I make this video, it is April 3rd. The, they are having the Ulta um, 21 Days of Beauty going on right now. And the Brow Wiz is on sale for $11.50, I think it is. So I bought two of them today. And then another one that I have brought back into my life is from the Brow Gal. This is an eyebrow powder and I usually go into that one right there um really like this really like this i have not been making my brows as sharp as i used to like um i used to use pomades all the time and i just you know the fluffy brow trend is here but i personally just don't like that look on me others i think can rock it very good but on me i don't like it so now i just really fill them in and um don't make them as precise and sharp as i used to like this is the most precise that it's gotten i think today um i used the elf precision brow pencil and i really like that one it is a definite dupe for the Anastasia one. So check that out if you guys aren't in the market for this one and you want something to set them. You guys have seen this in a lot of my videos. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I love this stuff. I really do. I go back and forth between this one and the Anastasia and this one is my favorite. Almost done guys, almost done. I do not have a favorite eyeshadow palette that I can say for the month of March um, because I have so much eyeshadow around me that I try to use a different palette every day. So I don't have one that has really stood out to me. Plus, I have been keeping it super, super simple. When I say super simple, there are times where I'll just grab my bronzer and just use that in my crease and then just use mascara and I'm done. Eyeliner, mascara, and I'm done. So I'm not going to feature an eyeshadow palette today. Just being honest. Hey. Um, for eyeliners, I have three. 
really have fallen in love with these elf smudge proof uh, shadow sticks I like to use these on my waterline and they stick they stay put um, give these a try guys I love using this Jeffree Star lip liner they are eye safe um, this one is in the color dominatrix so it's a brown I like to use this on my waterline and it stays put so these are actually really good um, up to you if you want to buy Jeffree Star or not and then for mascara, I got this in a boxy charm, and this is awesome. This is the Kat Von D mascara in Go Big or Go Home. Iris actually came to, to my room, and I know you're not supposed to share mascara, but she's my my kid. She went in, came to my room, tried this on, and she says she really likes this. So we're gonna order her one for herself. But this is a really good mascara. Give it a go. I'm really curious to try the Good Apple Foundation, but it is out of stock everywhere. So for concealer, guys, I skipped that part under the face category. I love using hydrating concealers. So e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer is my top pick. It's the one with the uh, white um, top. The black one is way too matte and leaves me looking very crepey. So this one is way better, at least for me. And then the a ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer is also good. These colors are a little off. Either I got way too pink or I got way too yellow. So, you know, it's really... I can't get my concealer shades correct, but I still use them. So these are really good. If you're in the market for some hydrating concealers, check these out. And then last but not least, guys, lips is not something that we have been using a ton of because of masks. I still want to put lips on, um, even though I'm wearing a mask, but I'm just like, I have the product, I have it, so I'm going to use it. But one of my favorites that I just brought back is this Makeup Geek um, Satin. It's a cream stain, and I really like this. This one is in the color Waltz. Um, it really stays put. It is so soft on your lips it's incredible you barely you don't even realize that you have something on your lips this is really nice and it doesn't settle in your lines so if you guys are looking for something go check out makeup geek we don't really talk much about makeup geek as we used to so check them out but other than that oh and then for setting sprays guys i am really into this elf um, stay all night micro fine setting spray and then I have the glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist as well Which you guys saw me haul uh, From a boxy charm as well, but both of these setting sprays are very hydrating um, And the mister on it is so fine. I don't spray six feet away from my not six feet but like two feet, three feet away from my from me. I actually spray this really close to my face because it is just so fine, but it doesn't leave your face soaked either. So give these a try. I'm going to stop rambling because I have talked so much and this is my second video and I got one more to go, but I really hope you guys enjoyed my March favorites. I will leave everything down below. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. Hopefully you guys have checked some of this product out. Or hopefully I have recommended some good stuff for you. Uh, pharmacy is also linked down below. I actually sell this product. So if you are into this, um, that link will be down below as well. You guys have a great one. And until my next video, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.